Hi, welcome to Crafty Little Things. I'm Andrea and today I'm going to be making this cute little baby crib or pram card. Um, it's really, really easy. Um, I saw it on uh, Pinterest when I was looking for something else and um, I thought, wow, that's really cute and really easy. And well, it looks really easy, and I tried to find a tutorial, couldn't find one, so I thought, well, I'll do it myself. So, for, for starters, you need to. I'm, I'm going to be using um, powder pink. Um, I'm using the powder pink cardstock, and I'm using the new DS powder pink DSP, the in color DSP. Um, and you don't need that much, one sheet of A4 will do for your cardstock and one 6x6 will do for your DSP so it's only sort of a two sheet um, job. Now you can cut this, I don't think Stampin' Up, in fact I know Stampin' Up don't do a circle as big as this but I got these dies really cheaply um, a long time ago online, really big circle dies which are coming really handy for a lot of projects that I've done and this one is um, sort of it's four and three quarters um in diameter um and this isn't even the biggest one i think this is about the third biggest the biggest one's like a dinner plate size um so if you do big circle projects it's worth investing in some um the other thing you could do is just draw around something and cut around it you could use a cutting machine to cut out however big you want it to be. Like I say, this is four and three quarters, but you can make this as big as you want. Um, or as small as you want. And um, I might even do a dinky version just to... Yeah, you can make this as big as you want or as small as you want, as you will see. Um, and yeah, um... I thought I'd make a big one for demonstration purposes because it's just easier, isn't it? So, um, the other thing with this one is I think it'd be quite easy to turn into a box, but anyway, we'll see. Right, um, so what you'll need is two of those anyway, however you choose to cut them out. And, I mean, you can get a circle cutter as well, use one of those. And you'll need one of the same size um, from your DSP. Then I've got four um, cardstock circles, which are one and a quarter inch. I just used a punch for those. And then I've got four half inch whisper white circles, which I just used a punch for that. And then I've got another one and a quarter inch circle that I'm going to use for the sentiment and a piece of the DSP. It's the same DSP. Um, using the Pretty Labels punch but you can do whatever you want and the only other thing you need is some ribbon of some sort so I've got some the polka dot tool here and you'll need a ruler and a pencil and some scissors and some glue okay and a bone folder right so to get started then um, these little dots are obviously going to go in the center of the wheels so we'll leave they're the wheels and that's the sentiment so we'll leave that to one side for a second now one of your pieces, all you need to do is fold it in half. Now it's up to you whether you want to score it first or you just want to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. Just as long as you sort of line up right, you're okay. Obviously you, you won't get um, a crease if you did it with a, a scoreboard. So I'm just going to really get that down nicely and that's it for that piece that's all you do now for this piece what you've got to do you want to do is you want to cut out a quarter now if you've got um grid paper like this then that's really easy because if you look in the middle you're at zero and we know that it's four and um we know that it's four and um a quarter so we know that we're in the middle we look at this two and two so we know we're at two and a quarter there and we're at two and a quarter there so that's the middle there and then this way up we can just count the squares so one two three four five six seven eight nine lift it up to the ninth line 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it's on the ninth line there. So we know we've got that in the middle. There's other ways of doing it. Obviously, you can just draw it or whatever. So just down and then follow the line across. where they join is your middle so you just want to cut that out I mean you can eyeball it if you want there we go and it's so simple you can already see it taking shape that glues onto that and that becomes the flap and then the wheels go on if you want wheels on you don't need to have wheels on because it's okay as it is now for this piece what I do is I use three quarters of it again so I just use that as a template And just cut that out you can save that piece if you want to put it in the middle of the wheels or anything you can save the other piece you can make one of the wheels out of it I just undercut that slightly and it's pulled the paper now decide which side you want to be your hood you can, if you want, just stick just stick that on. You could just stick that on there and you could get your ribbon and you could just pop your ribbon around the edge of it if you wanted to around the edge of the hood let it just overlap a little bit that looks quite nice you can stick it through from the back you can put it around where we're going to put ours obviously is across here but yeah it's up to you where you what you do with that but I'm going to do um, a concertina version now I've never tried this before so this is my first time um, so if it doesn't work then who cares so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold just into i'm going to fold sort of just over half an inch into the center and then i'm going to go back and fold about the same again and i'm just going to keep doing that right the way around And we'll see how this works out because as I said I haven't actually done this I've just done the easy the easy shade I don't even know if I need because because I've only seen this I haven't um, seen a pattern or a tutorial or anything I don't even need know how much of this I need I might not even need to do three quarters might just need to do half the circle I just think I just thought to myself at three quarters see now I'm starting to get it's starting to go kind of squadge maybe it is just half a circle because if I look at that yeah I think it is just half a circle so I'm going to cut this last quarter off and save myself the job <laughs> of doing any more because what's happening is it's starting to get further and further away from the centre so I think if I do it like that and I sew, and I sew it on and I just stick it on there so I've just 
the last one I've just folded it over and I'm just going to fasten it to there okay so before I do anything else I'm just going to pop my ribbon on I'm going to use fast fuse to put my ribbon on with I mean you could use snail or whatever you want but I'm just going to use this because I like to use it Now if you just cut off enough just to get you round the back then when you can stick it down but when the cards stuck on that'll cover that up okay oh that's so pretty I mean it's just pretty anyway isn't it chill what isn't pretty about polka dot tulle? I mean, I ask you. So I'm going to, before I stick my back on, I'm going to stick the hood on, the shade, whatever. I don't know what you call it um, in uh, around the world. I don't think I have many of you. I don't know. I maybe have viewers from other countries. I don't know. Um, but we call it a shade where I'm from some people call it the hood like the hood of a convertible car old-fashioned prams are making a comeback evidently because Kate, Kate uses one for her babies I think the reason the royal family use them for their babies is so that nobody can see the baby. Because when they take them out for walks, they're all nicely concealed, aren't they, in their little cocoon when they're in a proper pram. Now I haven't done um I haven't done a um a handle. I'm sure I'm sure it'd be easy enough to do one. But I haven't done one. This is just suggestive of a Stick that on the back there. This is just suggestive, so you know what the idea is. You know what we're trying to portray. So is that a good pressing down with the bone folder. Got a bit sticky there, but never mind. And that, I mean, that could be that. That could be like a crib. Oh, no. I've got a dirty mark underneath. Never mind. Right, so then we're going to put the wheels on because the wheels will stop it from doing that. So here we go. Just a dot in the centre. I'm just going to put where I think they'd best be served. And then all you do bit of Tombow lets you push them around a little bit. All you do is go to the back. Don't stick them together. Be careful not to stick them together. Just put some glue on and then just line them up with the back ones. And like I say, just don't don't glue them together. Which is going to be a little bit difficult with this one because I've got glue all over the place. I don't know what my dog's growling at. I think she's she's a puppy and she thinks she's some sort of... I think she's having a dream. Definitely dreaming. 
and there we go those little wheels help it stand up oh it's so cute and then what you can do what I'm going to do is pop my little sentiment on there and then you can write inside obviously now if you don't want um, all this to be seen inside you could if you wanted glue it glue it more together and then just write on the back but if you don't want joins and things to be seen you could always put more ribbon round you could put another um, concertina on the back or you could just whack a quarter on the back just to sort of tidy it up a bit in fact I think I'm going to do that because it looked quite nice that didn't it <laughs> and you're not wasting anything because just makes the back look a bit tidier I'm just going to stamp hello uh, from the Eastern Beauty set because I've been using the Eastern Beauty set a lot I just I'm enjoying seeing its versatility. I'm enjoying using it because I've never used it enough and I'm determined not to waste my stamp sets. I'm determined to use them more. So you could just pop hello on because it's hello to the baby. Oops. You could use one of the baby sets. There's some really cute ones in the new catalogue. Um, and then I'm just going to layer that with... Um, I don't know whether to use the stripe side or the polka dot side. I think I'm going to go with the polka dot side. So put the hello in. That only needs one dimensional really to stick that down. And then I'm just going to whack a couple on here, just like I said, probably use more. Um, I always say the same thing, but there was a project the other week where I just seemed to be spending all the time taking backings off dimensionals. And then you can stick that like that. And there you have it. You can't even see it, but you'll be able to see it in the photograph what a anyway. What little project. Very, very easy as well. And I know it's made easier by having the right size punches and dies and things like that. But, you know, <clears throat> um, these sort of things are sometimes worth a little bit of an investment. And then, of course, you could make a smaller one. So you could use, um, you know, your normal sort of layering circles or you could use um, your stitched, stitched shape framelits and you could make small ones that are name tags for a baby shower or um, a christening or something like that. You could make small ones as gift tags for, for baby gifts. It's just so cute. I just love it. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And, you know, you crafters that have been around a long time, paper crafters, you've probably seen it all before. But to me it's new and if it's new to me then there's hundreds of other people out there who it's new to as well who've never seen it. And so, um, you know, here it is and it's definitely not new in this combo. I mean it's definitely not been seen in this combo because this is new paper and this is new ribbon. So, you know, it is new. <laughs> This is what, sometimes people are a bit, oh yeah, I was making those 20 years ago. Well, you might have been, but I wasn't, and, and I'm making them now. And uh, if I didn't know they were around 20 years ago, other people probably didn't either. So let's revamp, let's see them again um, in new colours and with a new take using new products like new punches and things like that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, have fun making some of your own. If you do make some, especially if you make dinky ones, I'd love to know what sort of sizes you're going to make because I'm thinking with a stitch shape frame that, uh, the biggest circle stitch shape frame, because the stitching would look really lovely around the edge. 
and it looked lovely around the edge of the hood as well. So with the largest stitch shape frame it, I wonder what size you could get. I wonder. Now I'm going to make one, aren't I? I'll probably will make one, but uh, not today. Right, so take care. Thank you very much for watching.